Hello everyone, this is MCA Knight here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another Minecraft video, and today we're going to be talking about some Kit PPs about... Yeah. I'm on my Kit PP right now, this is my 2.0, but I haven't shown y'all my first one, so... Yeah. So my second one will be the perfect one to do... To tell you how to make your own Kit PvP server. So, yeah. If you do, as I say, if you wanted to do this like I did, go ahead. If you want to do it in a different way, that's fine. So, yep. Okay, just ignore that because that's that's someone's building. As some sort of admin live in this vault. Yeah, an admin is living in this vault. So, yeah. First off... Every single kid PP has to have a draw party. Yeah. Every single kid PP during the old version or the new version, doesn't matter which version you choose, you always have to have a draw party. Like, first of all, you have to have a, a draw party. Seriously. So, yeah. A draw party, it's when players that are teleported to here and you'll be dropping down like random shulker boxes or random items in it so like if you drop like a coupon or something that says like a free kit or something like free kit 7 or 6 or 5 or 15 so yeah a random shulker box so yeah the host or admin will be throwing the, the random shulker boxes doesn't matter which color, doesn't matter what it is. So, it it's the item, some the full shoulder box with a bunch of random items. It can be anything like a kit, an item. So yeah. Second thing, some players add a gambling, a gamble one. Yeah, some players build a gambling system so yeah you can make at least five you can at least make like three five or seven or more depends on the event or the special kinds so I got the f six normal ones six of them like epic legendary mythic extreme possible and god Six of these, you can put, you put like rare, epic, legendary, mythical, extreme, impossible, god, impo yeah. Rare, extreme, legendary, mythic, ex I can't talk today, okay? Sorry about my talking thing. I, I can't talk today, okay? Epic, legendary, mythic, extreme, impossible, and god. Like, you add like a rare to it, it's just like seven if you want to put rare but the rare cost has to be like no more than that cost because that's what the epic is cost if you want to increase the epic by five so yeah if you increase that one by five you have to increase this one by five so the cost of the rare one will probably be like five stacks so yeah and the special there's only one special that is the star slash emerald jackpot and here, this is what I usually do. I just put gold, iron, diamond, emerald. But the winner of it is iron. If you win, like a, if you get an iron ingot, you just get a win thing. And here's what the gold, diamond, and emeralds mean. Gold, it gives you double the money. Diamond gives you the triple the money. And emerald gives you like quadruple the money. So, yeah. Always do it like this. If you want to do it like that, please be my guest. So, yeah. And the third thing that y'all actually need. You can have, like, at least one to two shops. So, over here, we got the gift shop. And if you want to have, like, two currencies, like... The first currency is nether size and the second currency is emeralds. So 
This shop right here, the gift shop, this is only, you can only spend it on stars only. So, here are the items for the gift shop on this KPUP. Yeah. This is somewhat all the items on the gift shop. So, yeah. And by the way, this is a enchanted Antoma Undying known as the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know why it looks like that. This is kind of like, like if you enchant it and oh, total my dying, it looks like an infinity gauntlet if you look at it. So, yeah. And we got a mysterious box, mystery box. Gives you like random items on there. So, yeah. I still have copies of it. And if you decided to make a second one, like a second shop, like a gift shop or any, or your shop that says it, I put mine the MC shop. I name it the MC shop. And it only costs like emeralds so yeah you can decide if you want to have one or two currencies or more i recommend you use two currencies because you can keep track of two of them instead of like more of them if you keep track of more of them it's just gonna make you like forget everything so yeah and here's all the items for my shop we got the healing kit ammo kit potion kit xp and repairing it armor kit food kit known as the hunger kit I don't know why I put food kit I just put it food kit the food kit because why not it's short we got the MC shield it's just an enchanted shield regular shield that is enchanted but it's named by the MC by the MC known as me so we got a non enchanted on totem of dying this is a regular on totem of dying XP bottles and I'm pretty s sure that I'm going to be making an XP machine real soon. But it's probably not going to be this month. It, it might be somewhere around July or August or something. So, yeah. So, yeah. And we got an enchanted bow that is a knight's bow. This is my bow. And I'm going to show you the enchantments of this bow. We got infinity... F 1, Flame 1, Punch 2, Unbreaking 3, and Power 5. Yeah, my bow used unlimited arrows. Like, er I mean arrows. I can't speak. Okay, I apologize for that not to speak. I, I can't talk today, okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, like infinite arrow shooting. It's like a mini gun, but it's a bow. Yeah, you, you know that? You know that? Yeah, that somewhat sounds like a minigun. Like, yeah. So, yeah. That's the enchantments of the bow. But the cost of it is 35. I don't know why it's 35, but I would have changed it to, like, what? Two shulker boxes or something? So, yeah. That's the third thing about it. So, this is what you need to add for the KPP. Fourth, number four, you can always add extra things to it, like optional stuff. This is this is optional for y'all. If y'all want to build a parkour thing like I just did, this is pretty long, I know that. I had to make this long because, yeah. And all the way over th at the end, I somewhat changed the jumps of the parkour, so, yeah. Okay, that chest is empty. I haven't refilled that one yet. That one has something. That one has something. You can do this like three chesses and three people get like any of the three chesses or one person or one of the players has to get that chest. They have to race for it and just get that one. So, yeah. That's it for the optional one, of course. So, yeah. If you want to add some parkour to it or any any optional stuff, please, you can do that. This is optional. You don't have to build the whole entire thing. If you need like some sort of friend or admin help you, please, you can call one of your friends to help you out here. So, I recommend you have like at least two or three players or more to help you out on this. So, yeah. 
And the fifth thing. Always add some mini games to it and boss fights. Like at least add like five mini games, at least five. And for the boss fights, you can at least add like five or more. See? Add I I have like ten boss fights and three of them are somewhat empty and there's like seven of them that are available. So yeah. And for the other three, it's for something else. That's probably going to be the admin's choice. The choice of the admin's is yours. So, yeah. And for the per for the person who is admin slash player who are who is watching this, that will be you. So yeah. Yes, I have choose an admin on this player, but that player is a is a admin slash player. So, yeah. Because usually on um, some of my KPPs, I actually do that. But I only have the limit of one admin, though. So, yeah. He has like half. Because that player is, is half pl the regular player and half admin combined. So, he can decide if he wants to be permanently player or admin. So, this guy's choice is his, not mine. So, he can choose to be admin or not be admin, so yeah. And number six, this is probably going to be the final thing. Number six, always build arena like this. Always have an arena that has parkour, that has like OP dispensers. You can at least have like two levels, or you can. You can build at least one level, it's just, you can make it, like, very easy or hard. If you make, like, four levels, you have to make the difficulty increase to, like, somewhat extreme. So, yeah. For me, I put, like, four levels, and this is how big the arena is. This is how big the arena is. So, yeah. And one of the, these dispensers can shoot out nether stars or emeralds, and have them... And some of the levels that can shoot half emeralds and nether stars, that's going to be two of them. This is a level three. This shoots like nether stars and emeralds. And for the fourth one, that is up there. That shoots also half nether stars. That are seven dispensers that shoots nether stars and seven that shoots emeralds. So, yeah. And you can always build an arena like this, but I recommend you not build it like this tall and this wide because I had to have some of my friends help me out of building this arena walls and how wide it is it took me like at least a couple of days to get it done when I first started the darn kid PP so I recommend you not to build this darn big so yeah don't make this so big just I recommend you not to do that because you don't want to be seeing the same suffering as, like, the same pain as me and some of my friends building this. So, yeah. So, okay. Alright, before I get off, before I go, I go down here. This is something that I invented on this kit PvP. Well, I made a trash can. Like... When you go to lobby right now, there's a trash can. A chest that says trash can. Once a player puts in something that is trash, I always come, I somewhat sometimes call them right there in trash inspection. I need to inspect some trash. Something that is suspicious, a suspicious item, I put in this chest. Nothing suspicious, put in the lava. So... If someone threw like a lever in the gr in the trash can, and I didn't know who broke the lever, so I check in there, and I find that lever, I'm gonna know who. I probably won't know who did it, but a player will know. So yeah, that's all for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe if you're new to this channel, and give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'm MCA Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.